Hello everybody, welcome to Adventures in Beekeeping. My name is Dale and I'm a first year beekeeper. I'm just now returning from another trip down to uh, Peter Zook to get some uh, cypress beekeeping equipment. I have uh, two hives here and a starter, two full hives and a starter kit or starter hive. And then I also got uh, two nooks. So I have two nooks that I'm going to install into two hives. And I need to get that done pretty quickly here today. It's beginning to rain. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to actually put on video, uh, but I'll try to do as little bit as I can. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is get these bees out of here and put them down on the stand so that they can just chill out for a little bit while I get ready, get everything else ready. All right. Okay, so here we are. Uh, two nooks that we just purchased and brought home a uh, two-hour drive to bring them home and they've only been sitting here settling for maybe 15 minutes uh, hopefully they're, they're okay uh, I'm gonna be feeding them with an inside feeder and I have a uh, single deeps there and uh, I'm gonna like I said I'm gonna have a one-to-one -one sugar syrup in there for them uh, I have no idea how long these boxes have been uh, covered up um, I was thinking that I was going to get nooks that had been uh, generated and created by uh, uh, Peter Zook or his family or his friends and ended up that I got some uh, nooks that came from Georgia. So we'll see what's in these boxes. Okay, it's Saturday, April 17th. Just got back from picking up the nooks. It's raining a little bit. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to see this. Uh, but essentially all I'm going to do is um, transfer these nooks into the hives. Uh, these are cypress hives that I just got from Cypress Beekeeping. And you can see that I have the, the internal feeder and four frames. This guy takes up one frame. Um, I'm gonna put, I have some one-to-one uh, -one sugar syrup here. I don't know how long these bees have been cooped up inside. So I'm going to put half of it in this one. And then half of it in the uh, in the other hive. It's probably only going to be like a quarter of a gallon. This is a gallon tank. I didn't have enough sugar to make. Uh, didn't realize I was going to be needing to make sugar syrup today, and so I don't didn't have enough sugar. Hopefully you can see Let's put the rest of it in this one. I want these bees to have some nourishment. It's raining here. It's supposed to be cloudy tomorrow. So they may not uh, be able to get out and do any foraging. Seems like, seems like that one got more than this one. But I'll come back tomorrow and give them some more. And uh, the other thing I'm going to do, what happened to the So I'm going to split these. I'm just going to put two of them here and then put the five here. And I'll take these out and put them in last. Now, one of my goals this year is not use gloves but I'm not using any smoke and I have no idea these bees are unknown to me so I'm going to go ahead and wear gloves put on my veil get all ready Then it's just a matter of picking the frames out and popping them in. Hopefully that's all I have to do. There's a piece of tape holding the plastic box together. Let's see what happens here. Oh, look at that. Oh, they're just super quiet. They're super quiet there. There's one coming out. Oh, 
they have built a little bit of uh, burk home on the top. One came out to one came out to uh, welcome me. Let's see what we got in here. Is this the jungle? Looks like. So here we have a frame of honey and nectar. Hmm, these might be super nice bees to work with. Here's a frame with some brood and some nectar. Uh, capped brood on that one. Some bridge comb going on here. This one is uh, capped brood. Capped brood. I didn't see. I haven't seen much pollen here. Should be a frame of pollen somewhere. This has got pollen and maybe some larva. Yep, there's larva in there and uh, capped brood. few dead bees down in there, but not very many. This one has pollen and larva. Pollen and nectar. A little bit of bridge comb there. Not a lot of bees for a nook. Doesn't seem like to me like a lot of bees. But we're going to feed them, and there's lots of pollen and nectar sources out there right now. So hopefully they will get going quickly and build up quickly from where they are right now. And this, I was expecting this to hold, I was expecting that. frame feeder to only take up one frame. This is what I thought I'd do to the side. But these frames are fatter and they're not going over. I really don't want to leave it with this giant thing. possible to get that out of there. Uh, it's not going to go in. All right. So I have to do go with nine frames until we take the frame feeder out. All right. That's one done. bees in here. Let's see if I can put them on the landing board. Oh, there's some. Alright, 
over here and do the same thing. I want to see what I did. Over here, I did two frames then five. These are a little happier to see me. A little more fuzzy. A little more busy. Um, let's do this the same way. Feeder. Feeder down there. Okay. I don't know why. I'm doing it the exact same way, but just um, do it the same way. These have been through a lot of trauma. That's why I'm not using a smoke today. I've been traveling. I've been traveling today. Right. This one empty. This one connected. Brood and larva. This one has brood and larva. Some drone cells. They're not as happy. They're not as happy to be here as the other ones were. This one does seem a little more healthy. More bees per square inch per frame. See the queen. Oh, that's a drone. Oh, I saw the queen. That's a drone. But I see uh, young larvae uncapped. Capped brood. I'm not good at seeing cells or the queen. Not see the queen.
I don't think I'll be able to get this one in here. Looks like with the feeder, you only get nine. All right. That's fine. Now, look down in here. There's a few more bees. I'll lay it up here. They can fly up. Alrighty, that's it. That's the transfer of the nook to the single bee. It's an internal feeder, internal frame feeder. Put the inner cover on. Put the top on. And I'm just doing an entrance reducer, kind of a medium entrance reducer. And uh, that's really all. They seem to be pretty tamed. The ones are a little more active than the others, but um, that's okay. Now, it's raining and it's supposed to be cloudy tomorrow. So we'll see how they do tomorrow. Alrighty. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Uh, God bless and have a great day.